Alright guys, we are watching uh, OSS eight, uh, $10 basically, 15k, um, so let me see, no, because uh, why would it, but let's just watch, let's see, uh, I know Joe Wood, I know this guy, I know him, I should be playing this, but uh, some folds, There's a decent payout for this bad boy, you know, top. There's only like 10 minutes left, and then there's no more late registering, so. Let's see, these low stacks have to probably start making some moves. Like, you want to be, like my man Vlad, you want to have a nice, fat, nice, juicy stack to be able to uh, maneuver. And, um, yeah. ACR always puts on some cool little online series events. Fold, 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 fold. Everyone's playing very tight because there's 10 minutes left. And it doesn't matter because there's going to be like 300 spots to the money. So, like, I don't get it. You guys have to, like, take some chances here, man. I get it, dude, and I understand. It's like, you know, you put five, six hours of work in. You don't want to make a mistake and then throw away your tournament life but the winners find spots that the uh, min cash players don't basically so i can already see a couple players i feel like are going to blind out a little bit i don't know what he's calling in the small blind with a short stack like that he should be shoving pocket pairs there Couldn't be jacked. I mean, you know, he has a jack. I feel like, you know, ace jack, queen jack. He has more jacks. There's no draws. The board sucks. It's jack, jack, six. C bet's probably going to work here. I mean, he's short. It's hard to call. Like, what are you going to call with a dude? Don't call with a six. I don't think. Wow. He has a jack. If he had his jack, maybe why would you call it? I don't understand the raise, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, yeah, don't do what he just did, Joe Wood. Don't do that. That made no sense to me. Uh, maybe he had some history with this person, but that literally just helped this person tremendously and punted. And yeah, I don't understand that. Right, we are. Last level. That was 2,294 entrances, like 690 something people left. Hmm. My stomach is screwed up today, boys. I should be fucking playing these, but if not, we're going to go watch some people. So, flush comes in. It's very good uh, board for the initial opener. Let me think. He opened from, like, what, the hijack? He's not betting. Yeah, this is like he's got a king or... Um, jack or spades. Overbetting the pot, though, trying to make it tricky. But if I remember correctly, he's kind of a tight player. And sometimes that's what you need to do. He's just, you know, he's like tight and people pay him off. It's very odd to me. Like, I won't fucking fold, you know. Maybe I got the wrong dude, but I'm pretty sure, like, this is the guy I play against. And uh, he's pretty tight. All right. He's shoving. You don't have to necessarily shove 16 big blinds, but, I mean... You see the benefit though, like boom, it bumps you up like it's. If you do that a few times, it really helps. Stealing the blinds, stealing the blinds. So we'd have to watch him next time in the blinds to see if he does like the same thing. Look for patterns, you know. 
I never understand when people take the song preflop under the gun. You know, so he has aces, and he's like, well, should I, you know, limp? And that never, just never do that. The limp, re-raise, bull, bull, crap move. Um, it's like aces every day. I laugh at that move, but um, he just opened. So I don't know what he's taking so long for. Maybe, you know, hot pocket. He big, big, you know, bit into a hot pocket. That shit's really hot, you know. <laughs> Get that shock in your mouth. I have no idea, bro. But he's got... Man, he's you're gonna blind out, man. That's the one I was talking about. And I knew it, too. He had, like, a good bounty, but he's gonna blind out because he's just trying to hang on. He should open a lot here. He's got 106 big blinds. Use your stack, man. Come on, Vlad, use your stack. Oh my god. See how everybody tightens up. This is micros, man. This isn't necessary micros, this is low stakes, but everybody tightens up. It's like everybody it's like it's crazy. This is why I, I try to like this is when you should open your range and it's like it feels different it feels like this is wrong I shouldn't be doing this and that, if that you get that feeling then you're doing something right because you have to fucking get into that uncomfortable zone to get past all this like you can't just play perfect poker or wait for pocket tens and aces and all that stuff because by the time you do you double up you're still in, like, the same spot, man. You, you know, double up 10, 15 big blinds to 30. Yeah, it's okay, but I'd much rather be this guy. So don't be afraid, dude. Open hands and you can fold. I mean, you can bet over here, take some chances and fold. I mean, I get it, dude. You don't want to go to 22 big blinds, but you could also go to 26, 27 big blinds by taking a chance. Wow, we got a min raise early position and a quick call. Quick, quick, man. Vlad, I'd be very wary of pocket pairs, like eights, nines. Um, like nine, ten suited type hands. And then he's calling as well. Uh, it has to be something decent because he's short stacked, you know. I don't know. I, well, ace, queen, queen. Interesting. He was the initial better, but he's checking. I mean, out of position sucks. This is why you have to play good hands when you are <laughs> out of position. Well, you have position, sir. I think he's going to check as well. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's just a tight range. People are opening tight. I mean, if this guy checks again, he definitely has, like, pocket nines. Or Actually, I'm not going to say definitely, but I think pocket pair. I think. I'm not sure. This is just wild. Because there are full houses out there and stuff. Like, it's probably over just, I don't know. It's weird flush. Like, you're not going to call, bro. You're just wasting your time clock. I don't understand it. I have no idea what that accomplished, you know. <laughs> just, I'm just going to shove, like, 20x on the fucking river. Oh, we got a 2.1. That's kind of a mistake, all right? You should be min-raising when you're, like, 30 big blinds and under 40. You can do 2.1. Just little subtle things, guys. Um, call. That hits his range more than him. I mean, yeah, he has some, like, 10-9 suited, ace-10, king-10 suited, stuff like that. Uh, queen-10, jack-10. But that's not a lot, you know. And sure, he has jacks, queens, kings, aces, pocket nines, pocket eights. But this guy has a lot of 5x and 10x. So, small little c-bet. 
which is what you should kind of do, size down when you are short stacked. So we like that at least. He's doing that. And uh, yeah, it worked. Just got him to fold. Big blind is hard, man. Should, um, especially in your early position, you just, just attack. Because the big blind always has just a bunch of crap, you know? It's like the worst. You're usually the worst spot, and you never have a good hand. Sometimes it's good to trap if you can get aces or something. Just call, and you can 2.2 again. He shouldn't be raising that much. You got to be thinking if you call this, you're playing for stacks almost. The pot's already six, right? And he's got. I mean, if you, it's a really not a great board for his, you know, range. A jack might help. You would think you would bet flush draws, uh, uh, you know. But you never know in the micros. Sometimes people just wait until they hit their draw. I think this is a lot of, like, just ace, ace, queen, ace, ten, ace, ace, you know what I mean? Ace, king, shit like that. And I'll never know. I'll never know they didn't show it. But that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So got some folds. He's in a tough spot now because I think the levels are going to be changing. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really necessarily tell me, man. Seven minutes. Seven minutes, then nobody can do nothing. I'd like to do this and then this. New person at the table, if he opens up right away, probably aggressive. I mean, you know, okay. Good little men raise from the cutoff. Steal these blinds, take them down. Get up to like, what, 19? Should be stealing a lot from the big blind against these type of raises. With like ace X, king X hands. Just trying to teach you how to run deep in tournaments, guys. So, like I said, that little bet got him up to 20 big blinds. I said 19, it got him up to 20. As you can see, stealing blinds really matter. Now, look at this guy. He's going to be down 1.5. What's that mean? So, he's going to be like down to like 13. You know? You have to account for that, man. I always, like, when I'm in this position, I already I account for this. And I'm like, how many more orbits can I sustain, you know? So I have to, like, you have to gamble. You have to literally gamble. <laughs> you have to shove a hand you don't want to. And, you know, because you're short. You miss the stages where you should have been getting chips like this guy. You put yourself in a bad spot now. And now he's waiting for a really good hand, and I told you he's blinding out. So hopefully I can tape this. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. But yeah, there's somebody. But I'm just saying, like, let's see if my logic is right. This guy will probably blind out. It's unfortunate too, because he has a pretty good bounty, and I don't know the way he's playing. He probably just won that in like a big two-way pot or something with aces or something. I'm, I'm just, I'm just guessing, but. He doesn't seem aggressive. He seems kind of passive. No action, nothing. This is what poker really is like, though. Some people just think it's like, oh, they watch Hustler Casino Live. They see all the bluffs, and it's... Especially tournaments. Like, everyone right now, like I said, there's like five minutes left, and uh, no late register after that, so... A lot of people just want to get in that zone first, and then um, and then then they start opening up a little bit more. Something like psychology. They just want to at least get to that point. And then they get really tight at that point, too, because then they want to hit the money. So you're going to see a lot of overfolding, a lot of overfolding. I should have picked a smaller tournament in a way, but I will next time. But this still it's a Sunday. It's an eight dollar tournament, so you're gonna see a bunch of. Uh... I missed the action here, so this big blind versus cutoff. 
and no one's bet. Now the big blind is betting. What would he be betting? Probably an eight, jack nine, something with a ten. Any queen shouldn't be betting a four or two. Flush did come in. Queen eight would be very sneaky, but I don't think he has a small bet. I don't think <laughs> small bets on the river, man. What's he repping? And I think this is an eight. He's trying to like bet an eight. I don't know because I, I haven't seen him play. Definitely got a queen or a flush. We don't know, but I go by these weird sizes and try to figure it out. We get folds. This guy has a decent amount of chips. 70 big blinds going into the, you know, into the money stage, trying to get into the money. We got a min raise. Okay, he doesn't have to min raise. He can make this 2.2, 2.1, and that actually does matter. Like, it's like weird, but it makes making it 2.2 people will fold more. Uh, it makes you think to not call him a big blind. We got a shove from Benito, whatever. I think this is going to be really strong. He's been waiting to get this in, so it's like nines, tens, like pocket pairs, ace, maybe ace queen plus. I don't even know if he's shoving ace jack. Jacks. No, oh, he's got this one in the bag, huh? Sometimes patience pays off, though, huh? I guess I, I guess I was wrong, dude. I said I thought I was gonna blind out. Prove me wrong, Benito. You got those jackaroonies at the perfect time. Perfect storm hits and. Uh, what were you at, like 15, 13 big blinds? Now you're at 40? That's huge. What he just did was huge. Like, he's feeling really good right now. He's like, I'm going to put a 3-bet in. No, no, no. We haven't seen much 3-betting, huh? I told you, man. Everyone really, really... It's uh, psychology now. It's just... Everybody, it's just everyone overfolds and not playing correct pretty flop ranges anymore. They're just literally playing their cards. And I mean, there are a few here that will take some chances, but again, like I knew that shove had to be like what I said nines plus, ace queen plus, and it was. It's just it's so easy. I can't even remember what this guy called with again, uh, but it was. Uh, I knew it was strong. Some people hate jacks, dude. Jacks are very good hand and very, I think, very easy to play. I mean, people just, I don't know. So I think they overvalue them or they just don't know what to do with them. That's usually the case. It's a good pocket pair. It's a good, it's a good big hand, you know. It sucks when the king ace hits, yeah. Um, but you can still win. All right, so now it's, that's it. Final level, dude, to the money. Um, Vlad ain't doing much, but oh, under the gun raise that has to be a really tight because, like, again, I'm pretty sure I know him. I think again, he should be doing 2.1, 2.2. He's over 80 big blinds, put some fear in these guys, but again, he could be doing this because he's, he's just saving 0 0.1, 0 0.2 because he knows people might jam on him. You shouldn't be calling. I, I literally, and I, <laughs> I call in the big blind. I call in the small blind sometimes, sometimes, and on the button if I have a really good hand. Sometimes I will. But other than that, I don't call, dude. I'm not calling. Like that's where a lot of people just lose big blinds per 100. Is like like they call too much, you know. Bet call because they got five six suited, you know, nine seven suited. Better to raise. It's better to raise. I don't like calling because it just seems like you know you don't have a good hand. You just you, I don't know. You can trap people, but again, I try to tell people in the micros that or low stakes, you really just want to fast play hands. Two aces, hard draw. Everyone's scared to bet. Somebody should take. Vlad, you got to take a little chance, dude. You can bet like three, win this pot.
or I guess you could take your time bank and just check. I would probably, yeah, okay. That helps no one. It's a three. So what do we got? King High is going to win here? I mean, somebody probably has some weird eight. All right, he's betting. He's betting. What is he betting? Could be betting an eight because he thinks it's good. Uh, of course, he's betting an ace. I don't think he's betting a three for value. I think that would be checked. So a five, I don't think either. I think an eight or ace because there are two people and that's a big pot man every pot matters you know so dur dur crypto man it's gonna have to do something pretty soon because the blinds are gonna hit and you just once you're under nine big blinds it's tough it's very tough he's thinking the shoving probably You got ace 10, man. You might as well just go for it, dude. Better than blinding out. It's better to go out on your shield. All right. All right, man. Hmm. So I got a 2.1 bet. He should be min rate, whatever. <laughs> I'm not talking about that anymore. Subtle things. Uh, I got a call. And he's pretty tight, Vlad, so... It should be interesting. Barney King it definitely should be betting this, you know, double Broadway board. Definitely favors him. He's got a lot more ace and queen X than the big blinds. I'm, so I, a mistake would be checking here. You know, I'm just, okay, but I think this bet size might get check raised or some shit, dude, because, or called, because it's just so small. That was so small. I think an ace would have bet bigger. Flush draw is bigger now. But, like, what would he jack? Ten, uh, king jack, king nine. No, king nine can't have king nine. Fucking, um... Yeah, that's horrible when it just runs out like that. I mean, it's king or queen of spades. King of spades. It's pretty simple to understand. That's the only thing he should be betting there. I like this. I'm going to start doing this more, man. But I want to do it with final tables. So This is just like the money bubble showing you guys. Oh, 2.2. All in. I always tell people you want to be the person shoving, not calling off a shove. So this is like, it's very difficult to call off a shove. Like, even like if you have like, I don't even know, ace jack off suit. It's a decision, you know? You're like, man. He didn't even think about it. Just pocket eights. Just went with it. Now, what would you guys do with pocket eights there? I don't have a HUD. This guy hasn't been playing out of line. I don't know, man. Eights. Maybe tens, I think. I don't know. Eights, man. I don't think I would have risked all that against, you know, a bigger... Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. This guy's shoving, though. He has to be shoving, like, any ace X, king X. He should be, like, taking chances, like, king eight offsuit, like... Got a and boom, you know, thirty percent additive stack. It really matters going after these blinds, man. So when you're here and here, here, I mean here, 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 you have to attack. This is a tight range, right? Especially how everyone's really tight. So it's like I don't even know if he's opening Ace Ten offsuit. It's probably Ace Jack offsuit plus. Fold. Vlad, it's going to fold. It's really hard to call with like that stack size. You have a good shoving stack. Yeah, fold, fold. And then this guy's going to fold too. Ah, interesting. I should be playing, boys. Oh, I haven't really seen Brittany Ray's 
so I'm assuming it's something decent, huh? Under the gun, 2.1. With that, you know, stack, that's like, you know what I mean? When you have 33 big blinds, it's like you're happy, but you're not happy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm doing okay, you know? I'm doing okay. I'd much rather have 92 big blinds or 60 big blinds, but... But hey, she's going for it. Everyone's going to fold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bonnie defends the big blind against under the gun. So it's a tighter range than you think. I would, th you know, personally, I would. Um, facing a pretty decent sized C bet. Could be ace jack, king jack, could be queens, could be, uh, like I said, over pairs, any jack X. Um,. I don't think she's opening pocket sevens, but now she's checking on that turn. Kind of does help his range, so I understand that check. And you can check some jack X. The question is, do you go for thin value now? I don't know what she opened, A7. Hmm. Do now him... I was going to say, if he's going to open, you got to look at all of these stacks right here. Is it worth losing two big blinds facing a shove? Everybody's very tight. Like you got to take chances, Benito. You can't just wait for jacks every time, bro. And then those pocket eights were a really big mistake, man. Because you'd be sitting kind of pretty. This is blind versus blind. Oh man, anybody could have anything. Four nine, fucking nine seven, two pair. Look at this guy betting him a big. I think it's got to be a nine or like flush draw with two over cards or something. But that's a turn card that brings in a lot of draws. So, something could have jack eight. I mean, betting again, dude. This guy's betting twice. Is it really worth it? Because if you call this, you better have a plan for the river, Brittany. Because you just can't call seven and then be down to fucking, what, 16 big blinds, 17 big blinds. And then just fold the river. So, all right, at least she's thinking. That's that because, like, a lot of people don't. Like, uh, he's fired twice. She has, I bet, a pair because she's thinking. But, you know, nobody likes to face aggression. Maybe, well, never know. Blinds go down. Um, now these guys are in some serious danger zone. He's actually, you know, in the danger zone. 2.5 raise under the gun. This will just generate a lot of folds. Unless someone jams, but I'm just saying that just that 0.5 extra watch listen to my words and you will succeed in poker see <laughs> everyone folds in the micros because you add 0.5 to the raise and everyone thinks you have the nuts it's it's, it's this weird psychology shit dude but yep fold um sure fold fold barney king might open can you open with 15 big blinds here <laughs> you can but it's you gotta Better be a very, very tight range. You don't really want to bet fold now. It sucks. Yeah, he can't do anything. And he can call. But, again, you are playing 13, 14 big blind poker. You're not playing 50 big blind poker. So just keep that in your head. And he just says, let's go. Tough spot now. Don't want to be the person calling off unless you have a good hand. And sevens and shit. Ace, Jack. Got lucky. Um, I don't really even fault it because she was short. And Ace, Jack suited is... What are you going to do, right? You're going to take a chance with it. Even though, like, that was really, really, like, strong for that person to shove like that. But, all right, guys, fold, fold, fold. I told you everyone folds. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to make a video on the final table about this. But, yeah, this is a uh, money bubble.